everyone, and welcome back to Masters of Brick Jitsu. I'm Speedy, and today I'm bringing you the review for LEGO Ninjago Set 71763 Lloyd's Race Car EVO. Thank you to the LEGO Ambassador Network for providing Masters of Brick Jitsu this copy for review. I'm honored to have been selected to review this particular set. This review features my own personal opinions, which may or may not differ from other members. Please keep that in mind, and I hope you enjoy this early look at the 2022 wave. Lloyd's Race Car EVO has a part count of 279 pieces and includes three minifigures. It will officially release January 1st, 2022 for a price point of $29.99 USD. This set has an age range of 6 plus and like the rest of the EVO wave, stands alone from the Ninjago cartoon series. However, According to Tommy Andreessen, some of the sets will be appearing in main canon. Personally, I think it's very fun that they have made a wave that is not dependent on the TV series. Ultimately, Ninjago's target audience is children, and this opens up a wave where kids can create their own storyline out of sets and characters while still enjoying the main canon. I think that's great for play and imagination. The main play feature of this particular set is that it is a 3-in-1 build in which the car can be upgraded as you level up. There are three stages to the build and I'm going to show you each one of them and talk a little bit about each. The first mode is described by the LEGO website as being a buggy. This mode is my least favorite of the three. It's the most basic looking. To me, it looks a little too unfinished. I understand why it looks this way because you do have more parts to go on it as it is upgraded. But you can really tell the build is unfinished. You can really see where the, the upgrades attach. I really would have preferred if each different level stood alone without the need for the further levels. This mode is the only one of the three where you can see the front bumper area of the vehicle. It has two trans yellow headlights and a grille. The second level of the car has you add a few upgrades to the original build. We add in this new front bumper which covers up the original headlights. This front end makes the car look a little more like a race car. This upgrade also adds in these pearl gold wings, this back exhaust, and these green accents. And finally, we get a windshield. I like this one a lot more than the previous build. This one feels a lot more finished and it looks a lot nicer to me. The side profile looks good and feels a lot more solid than its predecessor. The third and final level of the car adds this big old spoiler onto the back. The hood is upgraded with this engine piece, which is adorned by two of the new stud shooters. The side also gets some more golden accents, including these newly designed Lego pieces for the EVO line. I don't quite care for that oversized spoiler. It's alright, but it's just a little too loud. I also have a bit of a nitpick with this engine add-on. If you put Lloyd in there, I don't know how he sees out the windshield, so I really hope he's using some kind of built-in navigation system. On the profile of this mode, the back end is a little too much gold, which makes it look a bit heavy. I wish one of these parts was a different color just to break that up some. When you have completed your ninja mission and defeated the Serpentine Warriors, you are rewarded with one of this wave's newest collectibles. The 2022 EVO line continues the LEGO Ninjago trend of a wave-wide collectible, this time featuring different printed banners. Lloyd's race car comes with the Adaptability Banner. The banner can be used as a minifigure accessory, or it can be attached to the vehicle itself. With all three modes and features complete on the main build, here are some details and my overviewing thoughts. The car, being a Lloyd set, features the same main color scheme that Lloyd does. Green, lime green, and pearl gold. I'm not quite sure how it would look or where I would even put it, but I do wish this color scheme had included some of the olive green, like on the EVO Lloyd minifigure, just to kind of tie in the color schemes and make this car a little more unique. The car can hold one minifigure inside. I do find this to be a very snug fit. Lloyd has to be seated in a very specific way in order to close the windshield. The car rolls pretty well, which is important in a set like this. I had been a little worried that added features would hinder the car's movement, but it does pretty good. 
the upgrades are very easy to remove and rebuild. They come off in a way that is smooth without being too loose. I can shake the set around with no problem, and yet the upgrades come off without too much effort. I can see this as being really great for kids and replayability with the different set levels. Overall, I do like this set, but I do find it to be a little redundant. It's a little too similar to the Ninja Nightcrawler. If you had shown me this with no context, I would have assumed it was like the legacy version of the Ninja Nightcrawler. A change in color scheme for the EVO race car would have been nice just to set it a little more apart. Don't get me wrong, I do like this set a lot, but I also like the Nightcrawler a lot. It just would have been nice to get something a little more different. I just feel like if you already have the Nightcrawler, there is a little less incentive to pick this one up. Lego, if you're watching this, Lloyd doesn't have a jet yet. I'm just saying. Other than the main build, the set also includes a little side build, an ATV for the Serpentine to chase the race car with, or vice versa. I will never complain about the inclusion of a little ATV or car in a set like this. I love these little side builds. I loved the one from the Land Bounty. I love the Polybag versions. There's just something about them I love. I think they're so much fun. This build features the same orange, gunmetal, and dark turquoise color scheme as the included Serpentine minifigures. It rolls really great. The Serpentine can get some major speed. I like the addition of the fire coming out of the back to emphasize the turbo speed. I think it's a really cute build. Now let's take a closer look at this set's included minifigures. The EVO car comes with Lloyd, Python, Dynamite, and Cobra Mechanic. None of these minifigures are exclusive to this set and they appear throughout the entire wave. We'll look at the featured ninja first. Here we have Lloyd in his new EVO suit. In this set, he not only comes with his mask, he also comes with an included hairpiece. I'm really hoping the trend of including both continues into future set waves. He also comes with the armor piece that was introduced during Secrets of the Forbidden Spinjitzu. They also included two accessories for him a lime green katana, and a wrench. His design uses a very bold color scheme. He uses a green base color with lime green highlights and olive legs. Like the other ninja designs in the EVO wave, he has mixed matched arm colors, his right arm being a dark green and his left arm being lime green. His front torso features a dragon scale design, which we all know is very fitting for his character. The back actually features a dragon head with a stylized Ninjargon logo slapped over it. It just reads Ninja. The logo feels a little awkwardly placed. It almost feels like it was just an afterthought. I also wish the scaling on the front of the torso wrapped around to the back a little more consistently. He, of course, features the head print from the Lego Ninjago movie, which I believe has been featured in over 40 sets now. I wish they had retired this headprint and replaced it with that one Prime Empire headprint. Overall, I do enjoy the look of this minifigure. It is a great addition to my collection. The next figure included in the set is the Serpentine Python Dynamite. This figure uses the Pyro Whipper head mold from Secrets of the Forbidden Spinjitzu. This sculpt was also featured in the Seabound Wave. Python features a new color scheme for this mold, a gunmetal gray with solid orange highlights. The torso features a scaly armored design that's printed with a nice metallic ink. The metallic parts are throughout the design, creating a scuffed appearance in certain places, which adds a nice subtle level of detail. The dark turquoise accent color was an interesting choice here. This is one of two different torso designs for the Serpentine villains this wave. This figure, like Lloyd, comes with two accessories, a pack of dynamite and one of the new stud shooters. The Cobra Mechanic is the other villain included in this set. This figure also features the Whipper Mold, but in the flipped color scheme from Python Dynamite, the orange being the main color, with the gunmetal being the accent. I prefer the other color scheme over this one, but it does add some nice variation when building an army. I do wish at least once in this entire wave we had gotten a recolored Asphira head mold, just to add further variation. This figure features the other Serpentine torso print from the EVO wave along with the print's legs. Again, I really like the metallic detailing of the torso and the legs. I like how this torso design has the added backpack straps to match the Cobra Mechanics accessory. 
The backpack is comprised of the same piece used for Energenia. It's a neck bracket part that is separate from the head mold so it can be removed. This version of Cobra Mechanic comes with the torches as the main accessory, but they are lacking an accessory for the bottom armatures. You can, however, put any accessories you would like there. Overall, I think this is a neat set. If I was younger, I could see myself playing with it a good deal. I was really into cars as a kid, so I definitely would have enjoyed this set. I think it's nice and simple for the age range it is aimed at. I do wish it was a little more unique to set it aside from the other Lloyd vehicles, whether that be part usage, color scheme, play features, etc. Those were all of my thoughts on Lloyd's race car EVO. This is my first LEGO review, so I apologize if I forgot to mention or go over something. I hope you enjoyed it regardless. Thanks again to Masters of Brick Jitsu and the LEGO Ambassador Network for providing me with this set for early review. Additionally, I have made an illustration of the set. The speed paint for it will play shortly. You can find myself and my own content on Twitter and Instagram at SpeedyTheCat7 or on Tumblr as just SpeedyTheCat. Be sure to follow Masters of Brick Jitsu for more LEGO Ninjago reviews and other videos. Please enjoy the following speed paint. Thanks for having me.